So today, I wanna to share with you a gift. It's something that I share with as many people as I possibly can. And today, I really wanna share that message and that gift with you. So hang tight and join me for the episode here coming up. It's gonna be super fun. Stay tuned. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, as I mentioned in the intro there, I have a gift for you today. And this is going to be something that uh, you might find pretty inspirational. And it might be something exactly what you're looking for that you need in this moment. And this stems from, I was having a conversation with a family member uh, over the last few days. And the thing that kept coming to my mind that I needed to give them as a gift to help them move forward, to achieve the greater things that they want in their life. And that gift is permission. That's right. Permission. I want to give you permission, meaning we all are looking for validation in our goals and our dreams, what we're trying to accomplish, all of those things in our life. And I'm included. I, I include myself in that as well. A lot of times, though, and this stems from, as I mentioned, a conversation I was having with a loved one of mine is that they were sharing all kinds of ideas, all kinds of fantastic concepts and dreams and goals and all kinds of things that were just they were great. But you could tell that that person was waiting for me to tell them and give them permission that it was OK to go for it. Go do it. There's no one holding you back. No one is holding you back but yourself. That's been my experience. A lot of times if you want to like get into an investment, right? A lot of times you want to start making more money. Say you want to join out, uh, jump out into the entrepreneurial world. Say you want to start a business. You don't need anything and you don't need permission to do so. You just have to have courage. You have to have some belief in yourself. You have to understand that, yes, you're going to have to probably let go of some things that were in your past, right? Who you were, the things you thought of, the people you hung around, the things you read, the things you listened to, you might need to let go of some of those things. But as far as stepping out into this bigger, brighter future, you don't need permission. And if you feel like you do, that's why I want to give you that today. You can do it. I give you permission. Go be this fantastic person that you are meant to be. The world needs your message. The world needs you to go do the things that are in your mind. They're not the things that I want. So, so for example, if you are one of those, and I would say that I used to be one of these people, right? <laughs> I put Once again, I'm putting myself in this category. If you're one of those that were doing everything for somebody else, meaning somebody was always telling you to do certain things, maybe it was going to school to learn and study a certain subject, or maybe it was joining and, and getting a job in a, in a field that you thought was going to be the best thing based on what somebody else thought. So everything that you've chosen, if that's the way you've been, has been up to somebody else. You've always needed permission from somebody else before you would ever do or think in any other way. And I'm telling you that that is not accurate. That is not needed. You don't need permission. As long as you're not going to hurt somebody else, including yourself, that's what I tell, this is what I tell my children all the time. And my wife too, anybody else that wants to hear me, and you're gonna hear it today. But as long as you're not hurting someone else, and I mean physically, you know, you might hurt somebody, you know, their feelings sometimes if you need to kind of step away from somebody. So that's what I'm talking about. If you're, as long as you're not hurting somebody physically, putting them at harm, that's all you need to really worry about. You don't need permission beyond that. So if, for example, with a decision that you have for your family, I can remember many, many times for myself when we were moving from place to place with job changes with the decision that uh, for me to leave my last W-2 job and step out into this entrepreneurial world, I had to make decisions. And I, at the time, I would make slower decisions based on because I felt like I needed permission to step out there and make it happen. But what I've discovered as I've continued to, to push myself outside of my comfort zone is that I don't need permission. Now I need to have some support. Support and permission are two different things. I make sure that my wife is going to be supportive of me because it's impacting her too. The decisions I make are going to impact her as well. 
Now, my kids are grown and gone. They're out of the house. I don't need to worry about them as much as I did when I was responsible for them 24 hours a day, seven days a week when they were little. So I don't need permission for them from them to keep moving forward. Same thing with your parents. If you're an adult, you don't need permission from your parents to move whatever in towards any direction that you want to go. You don't need permission to set a goal and go for something that's outside of the norm of your everyday life. And when you understand that, when you realize that you don't need that permission, that's when you're going to be able to achieve greater things moving forward. So folks, today is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I really wanted to get this out there to you that if you're looking for validation, if you're looking for permission to step into the greatness of who you are, you've got it. And I'm giving it to you today. That's the gift. You have my permission to step into it. We need you. I need you. The world needs you to step up and become the person that you are meant to be. And if you are in a place, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whatever place you are in, it can be in a physical location and it's not fulfilling your purpose. If it's not fulfilling who you are meant to be, you need to have the courage and the belief in yourself to move forward. And if you need that gift of permission, I'm giving it to you today. So hopefully you found this message valuable. I appreciate you being here with me on this episode and on the other episodes. If you found some value in this message, if you wouldn't mind sharing it with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. It's something that I'm trying to share with as many people as I possibly can. And to get that done and reach the people that need to hear the message that I have to share, it's going to require some help. And I would love it if you would help me do that by sharing it with your family and your friends. If you you would go to your podcast platform of choice and leave me a review of some kind, that would also help me in the algorithms of the internet and help me try to share this message with as many people as you possibly can. So go out there, have a fantastic day. Focus on being great. I give you permission to step into your greatness, to step into who you are meant to be and go do that. What is one thing you can do right now, today, That's going to help you bridge that gap from this person you are today to this dream future you have coming to you as quickly as you possibly can, right? It's going to come and I give you permission to go get it. Have a great day.